Let's turn now to rising anxieties over a new arms race in space. Courtney Kuby has rare access inside an Alabama facility on the front lines, guarding the U.S. against threats from China in orbit. Growing tensions between the U.S. and China now extending to hundreds of miles above the Earth. We know when we're threatened. We need to be able to counter the threat. To get an inside look at some of the latest American technology to counter the Chinese threat, we went to United Launch Alliance's factory in Alabama, working on defenses against things like Chinese satellites that can use robotic arms to drag other satellites out of orbit, meaning China could disable critical American communications satellites. They were actually able to grapple, grab a hold of one of their defunct GPS or Beidou satellites. What is the concern about them having that kind of capability in space? Anything that can interact with the spacecraft for servicing is inherently capable of interacting with the spacecraft to harm it or to gather intelligence from it. And fears tonight that China is moving faster than the U.S. in this new space race, including not just in space, but the skies just above us, not only using satellites, but spy balloons and hypersonic missiles. When you look at the threat from China in space right now, what concerns you the most? We seem to be asleep at the switch. Dean Chang is an expert on China's space program, which has more than doubled in the past five years. Do you think that China is militarily is ahead of the U.S. in space? I think the Chinese one are giving us a real good run for the money. He says another potential Chinese threat to the U.S. from space includes a cyber attack that allows China to remotely take control of an American satellite. You could say to the satellite, deorbit come crashing down. There goes a billion dollar payload crashing into the Pacific. Or disrupt American missile defense systems. The really scary one, of course, is if you could spoof missile early warning systems so that they don't report a missile launch. That's the ultimate night. U.S. officials tell NBC News China can already do both. And China successfully launched its own refueler a few weeks ago, which enables China to keep its satellites in orbit longer. In the meantime, the U.S. may still be months away from the same technology. And multiple U.S. military officials tell us perhaps most concerning, China launched a hypersonic missile capable of orbiting the globe over and over, then suddenly dropping to Earth before most missile defense systems can respond. We continue to look at that very closely, but that's a capability they just recently demonstrated. A possible defense, lasers. You can't outmaneuver the speed of light laser. Courtney, some pretty disturbing scenarios laid out there. Another sign of the state of relations with China, we've learned the military hotline that President Biden touted nearly a month ago is still not up and running. Yeah, Lester, despite the agreement between President Biden and President Xi to restore military communications, U.S. officials say they are trying to set up the lines, but the Chinese have not been responsive. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.